YouTube, what's going on? Andrew Darling here, Mr. Darling 4. This is a quick hardware overview for the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So I did the unboxing already, and I've kind of given my initial thoughts on battery life and stuff like that, but I really hadn't went over the uh, device itself. So here in the front, we'll start at the front and work our way around the device. Um, on the front of the device, um, as you can see here, Samsung has really, if I can get it to focus in for us here, all right, Samsung has really moved their sensors around. You now have a 5 megapixel uh, camera here. Uh, you also have your light sensors over here. And then the little part that you can kind of see over here is going to be your uh, notification light. Of course, you have your speaker here. Talking on the phone with the device several times, the speaker is very clear, very good and crisp, as you would expect from uh, any flagship device now that is a flag that is a smartphone. On the bottom here, also a little bit bigger. Uh, and of course we have the reason for it as well. That is the new integrated uh, fingerprint scanner, which is no longer requires that swipe dresser from last iteration and it allows you to actually press down and unlock the device. And again, it is flanked with the Recents Apps key. If I can get it here to focus in for us. Uh, it's the Recents Apps key and the Back key. So there they are, Recent and Back. And like I said here, um, I have four fingers set up to do this. So you just type, and of course it didn't do it because I'm holding it uh, kind of funny. but Here's my lock screen. Uh, well, once you get past the lock screen, here's my home screen uh, for the device. And I want to talk a little bit about the edges of the device. So as you can tell here, it slopes down, given the name, the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. And it forms a really thin uh, edge on this side. And that edge is actually sort of uncomfortable uh, with long usage. So your normal everyday use is not really going to be a problem. Uh, and most of the time you have the device in your hand. So when you're doing this, you're not touching the device, the edges of the device anyway. So it's the same thing on both sides, of course. Uh, this is different from the uh, Note 4 Edge, whereas the Note 4 Edge only had the one side that was, uh, was situated like that. So here you have the power button on this side. And then as we kind of move up to the top of the device, uh, you have the IR blaster, you have the SIM tray, and you also have a... Uh, microphone spot in there as well. Um, so as we come down to the bottom of the phone, this is very iPhone-esque. Um, and I mentioned this uh, in my first kind of thoughts on the device, but that's not really a bad thing. So it's really trying to get it to focus in here. Uh, it's not really cooperating with me, but that's okay. So you can tell, like I said, very iPhone-esque and the back. So being glass, being a glass device, as we've known since uh, the iPhone 4s as well as the Nexus 4, um, it's either a love-hate relationship. You either love it or you can't stand it. So it's a fingerprint magnet uh, for sure. As you can see, I'm even putting swipes and marks on it now. Um, here you have the Samsung and the Galaxy S6 Edge branding. Here's your camera uh, along with your heart rate sensor and your flash. The uh, heart rate sensor here actually also doubles as a shutter button when you're trying to take front-facing cameras. Uh, and you can also kind of see the, uh, how the camera does protrude here a little bit um, up from the, from the top of the device. But I haven't really had any issues with it. Um, while the bezels are a little bit bigger, uh, it doesn't seem to uh, affect everyday use in any sort of way that would be tangible and uncomfortable or anything of that nature. So this display is phenomenal. Um, the display itself is it's a 5.1 inch QHD display and it is it's just beautiful I mean there's there's not really a better way to to describe it also they have the uh, front facing camera here so as you can see I'm taking this video on my one plus one and here I want to show you guys in the settings you can actually do QHD video okay on the front facing camera I've done this a couple times just wanted to give you guys the, uh, the opportunity to see this um, live for those that don't believe or thought it was some sort of April Fool's joke since I posted that first video on uh, April 1st. But overall, that's pretty much the hardware here. Um, I don't have any real issues with it. The battery life, um, they did cho choose to go with that, uh, that 2600 milliamp hour battery in the edge. And although wireless charging is in here for both uh, major standards, it's uh, Qi as well as, I want to say it's PMA as the other standard. Uh, it's, it's really just not... Uh, working for me all day so it is currently just about three o'clock and it is at 32 percent so nothing horrible nothing terrible uh, but definitely not what I've come to expect uh, considering my last two phones were the OnePlus One and the uh, Z3 Compact from Sony 
So overall, the hardware, uh, I really do think, aside from the battery, it's a home run. And with all those extra added abilities to charge the phone, the quick charging that comes with it, as well as the wireless charging, uh, it shouldn't be a whole lot for folks to uh, just put a ch wireless charging mat down on their desk at work and, and call it a day. So this has been my hardware thoughts, the overview. I really like the feel of the device. Um, if you don't hold it like this, as in a phone call, uh, for any extended periods of time, you really shouldn't have any issues with it. It's a very solid device, very good. I think it's a huge step forward uh, for Samsung. And as you can see there, how fast the screen unlocked just by touching it with my thumb. So those are my thoughts, YouTube. What do you think? Um, let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Trying to uh, get close to that uh, 2,000 subscriber mark. So YouTube, again, it's been Andrew Darling. Um, I truly, truly appreciate all the support. Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge hardware impressions. Thank you.